Hi guys, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do a daily makeup tutorial. So this video is just gonna be me walking you guys through how I do my makeup. base looks like only after the cushion foundation and I found that the mesh cushion foundation is actually pretty light to medium coverage so when I still have tiny bits of redness or pimples or hyperpigmentation I just like to cover them up with this Cleo Kill Cover Concealer but I just dab a little on the parts that you can still see the texture coming through and then I just like to dab it in and that's all I really do for my foundation and base. So the next part I usually get started on is my eye makeup while I wait for my foundation to rest a little. There are three main palettes that I use. This one is the Cherish Spring Palette by Cleo. I recently also got some of this really cute cat one from Cleo as well. And then this one is a flower nose palette. So what I like to do when I'm first starting off my eyeshadow is come in with a lighter eyeshadow color as the base. I usually just get started with this shade called Pure Pink. As you can see, I use it on a daily basis, so I've hit pan already. I basically just start off putting the eyeshadow all over my eyelid. And because it's a lighter color, it's okay if I go a little above my eyelid because I'm going to be adding more shades to layer on top of it. I like to take this darker shade of pink and outline more of my outer corners on top of my eyelid. Lastly, I take the gray shades from here, put them on my eyelid, a little bit on the outer corners, like that. So when you're done, it should look a little like this. I like to take this Cleo gel liner and start to underline my ego cell. So what I usually do is smile so my natural eye bags come out a little bit so I can just underline the natural shadow of my eyes. And I just take the pen and I go down and around it slightly and then I blend it out with my fingertips. Next, what I like to do is take the same pen and then draw a line from my waterline to the edge of my eye, which is about here. And what this does is just makes your eye look a lot bigger. I do it like that, and then I blend it out again. I repeat on the other side. So next, what I do is take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze and then a random spoolie. I'll just take a little bit and dip it into the product and just start to comb through my brows. I just follow the natural shape of my eyebrows, but I just like to fluff them up a little bit more. And that's mostly what I do for my eyebrows. I'm continuing with my eyeshadow. I start by taking this shade from the Flower Nose palette and then I take a more angled brush like this one and then I dip it into the palette and use that to highlight my egg yolk cell. done i go in with my eyeliner which is the heroin make in brown what i do for eyeliner is i just take the corner of my eye and i draw a straight line angling up and from the straight line i just connect it inwards
and then fill in the gaps. So it should look a little like this. I just repeat this on this side as well. I also go under my waterline and fill in my waterline. So when I'm all done, it should look a little something like this. And then after this, I get started on the rest of my face makeup. I kind of do things a little out of order because I like to do glitter and highlights at the very end. So for face makeup, I usually use the Dior blush in pink with the Flower Nose blush brush. And what I do is I take a little and just smile. And then I put it on the apples of my cheeks, which is here and here. And then I take the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, which is in shade Amber. And I start contouring my nose. So what I like to do for my nose is... I just go from the bottom and then make a straight line up and then curving it into my eyebrow making a little line on the tip of my nose so it looks a little crazy but we're definitely gonna blend it out I also put a little under my cheekbones and then along my jaw I take a beauty blender and I blend it all up I take the sharp end of the beauty blender, I follow my nose going down and the other side as well. And then just blend out the bottom and the tip and it should leave you with a pretty natural contour. So moving on, I like to do my powder now. This is the Laura Mercier setting powder. I put in one of these like cushion pads into this because I had a lot of setting powder falling out. But what I do is I just put a little on here, dab the excess off on my wrist, and then I start powdering the places where I don't really want shine to peek through, which is around here, under my eyes, On my t-zone and a little on my nose so it looks like this when I'm done and I'm a lot less oily now lastly I take my rare beauty highlight and it's in shade exhilarate I also have the matching brush but I just take a little of it and put it on the high points of my cheeks and a little under my brow. I like to put a dot on my nose and then along my bridge. More on my inner corners. Now that I'm done with all of my face makeup, I go back to my eyes. I like to redefine some of my eyeshadow and I take the same gray shades from earlier and just go highlight my Ego cell again. Along with the lines that we drew earlier. And this is honestly my favorite part. This is when I whip out the glitter. So I take the same flower nose palette and I use this shade. I put a little on my finger tip and then I just dab it only in the middle. And then a little on my egg yolk cell as well.
now is the time I put on my lashes. So the lashes I use right now are the Ardell Wispies and I'm almost done with the pack as you can see. But what I usually do is I take the band and then an eyelash curler and I curl the lashes so that they stand up a little more on the eyes. I kind of just repeat that on both sides until I get the desired effect that I want. I take this lash glue that I got off of Amazon and I just apply a really thin coat to these lashes. There's no real technique to apply lashes besides just practice because it honestly took me a really long time to know how to put them on but if it helps I bend them a little bit like this and then I blow on them it kind of looks like a spider but <laughs> I blow on them and then I find that really helps in applying I do my lips so what I like to do is take a lip liner this is the rare beauty lip liner that I got in a little birthday set I'm pretty sure I take it and then outline my bottom lip I overline the top of my lip as well where the cupid's bow is what I like to do for my lips is take the Alicia lip tint and then kind of make this shape around my lips like that and then after that I'll dab it out a lot across my lips and then I take the Glossier lip gloss and put a little bit all over my lips and this is the final product. I still like to add a little bit more glitter because honestly you can never have enough glitter but I take this Omnishia palette, it's the Tap Me Duo in Pit Pat. I take another Q-tip, I find that the Q-tips are just a little bit more precise than my fingertips so I just take a little of it on the q-tip and then highlight my ego style one more time and honestly i'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids as well she's okay to finish everything off i make sure i always use this Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It keeps my makeup on even in concerts and everything. I just wait until it's fully set. And this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully got some inspiration from this video. I love doing makeup tutorials, so let me know what you guys want to see next.